Hey guys, so today I've compiled some of my favorite beauty products for you guys to see and decide if you want to use it this year for school or not. Um, it includes like different foundations, uh, nail polishes, and things that I'll be wearing this year for school. I hope that you find these tips helpful. Um, all the stuff in this video is extremely affordable next to like one thing which is kind of pricey. So I hope you find this helpful and I hope you have a great school year. So the first thing I want to talk to you today about is the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. I am totally in love with this stuff. BB Cream was supposed to act as a replacement for both foundation and concealer. I use it as my foundation during the summer. And this, it is, here you can see it. This is probably the best drugstore BB Cream I have tried so far. Um, it comes out white, but it will blend as you can see here, but it can blend into your skin, um, like so, and then like you can't even see it, which is pretty cool. I know I have a crappy video, but this stuff is like absolutely amazing. When you put it on, you don't even realize that you're really wearing it. Um, it goes on extremely smoothly. It doesn't leave like a lumpy kind of texture, which I've noticed with a lot of, I don't really like L'Oreal's foundations. Um, as much because I think they leave them like really tacky and lumpy and I don't get that with this BB cream It works great. It really blurs like any imperfections that you may have and people if you get the right color People won't even notice that you're wearing it. I have extremely fair skin. So I go with there Yeah, I bought originally light, but I found that it was too orange for me as the farther you go up I've noticed they get more and more orange tinted so you may just want to stick with the fair and then build on that um, but I really like this stuff. It was around eight bucks when I bought it and I got this from Target So I love this stuff so much The next thing I want to talk to you about is my eyeshadow that I'll be wearing a lot this year uh, I bought Urban Decay Sellout Hold on let me open this up for you. And it's like a beige with a little bit of shimmer It's really pretty. I know it's coming off very dark um, let's See give you a kind of a clue what the color is. It's a very light beige with just like a teeny bit of shimmer in it, so it's wearable during the day. It's not very much a night kind of color. Um, but I love this stuff. I usually pair this with like a darker brown in the crease and then just my usual like mascara and eyeliner combination. Um, it's really great. It's like a powder, uh, powder, what do you call it? Eyeshadow. That's what I was, the word I was trying to think of. It's a powder eyeshadow. Um, it was about 16 bucks, and I bought it on sale, so it, a it is a little bit more on the pricier range because it is Urban Decay, but it's really, like, really great stuff. I really recommend that you buy it. I think if, I might be wrong, but I think this is on the Naked 2 palette. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Don't take my word for that. The next thing I want to tell you guys about is probably the best mascara I've ever bought ever in my entire life ever for a drugstore mascara. I love, this is L'Oreal Voluminous, Voluminous, I guess is how you say it, Hydrofuge Mascara. It's waterproof. It comes in a bottle that looks like this. And this may be the best thing I have ever bought ever for a drugstore makeup. The Mascara perfectly separates your lashes. It gives a full length to your lashes. It makes them really thick, but without it being too spidery. But it really separates your lashes too, so you know that you're getting a good coat. Um, it's waterproof, but it's not so waterproof that it's a pain in the butt to take off when you're trying to take off your makeup at night. It comes off with a uh, actual makeup remover, um, and it comes off easily too. So it doesn't leave like stains and stuff like that, which I cannot stand looking like a raccoon. Even like even when I'm taking off my makeup, if my makeup like leaves me with raccoon eyes until the next morning, I will not buy that product again. I cannot stand it. Um, but this stuff, voluminous waterproof L'Oreal. It's perfect. It was around eight bucks, but I got it on sale for five fifty at Target or actually Walgreens. You can get this pretty much anywhere they're selling L'Oreal products, but this is amazing. Buy this. This is so great. For lip products, there's like a bunch that I've bought this year just to try out. I never really experienced like experimented with lipsticks or 
uh, like lip glosses as much. I always just put on chapstick and just left it like that for my freshman and sophomore year, but a little more towards the end of my junior year. And this summer, I've really started experimenting with lipsticks. Probably my favorite lipstick so far I've found that would be wearable for school is this nude lipstick by Maybelline. It's Maybelline's 205 Nearly There. Um, this is perfect. It goes on. It's not tacky. It's not waxy. It doesn't make your lips feel dry. I mean, I would put on, honestly, uh, at first, um, a lip, like, just like lips, what is it? Uh, lip gloss, lip chapstick, thank you. Chapstick, just to, like, give it a base to move on, but it's, it's really pretty. It's a perfect nude color. I feel like it matches, like, the color of my lips. Uh, I guess I'll show it. It's really dark in this video. I'll give you kind of like a look. It's not as brown as it's appearing. It is a nude lipstick. Um, and it is absolutely perfect for my lips. It's got just a teeny bit of shimmer, so it's wearable during the day, but it can go to night. If you want to wear it for a night out, it's really good for that too. It's perfect for school. It's barely, like, you don't notice that it's there. I love this lipstick. It's the perfect nude color for me. And again, it's 205 Nearly There by Maybelline. Um, and this was around 7 bucks when I bought it. I think it was 7 So this is, yeah, definitely buy this. I'm also a girl that likes to wear pink lipstick. Um, sometimes I don't really like pink, like a pink lipstick that's going to leave me looking like Barbie. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of like the extreme pink, but my favorite probably like doled down pink that I've bought is from Revlon. It's 616 Wink for Pink, and it's probably my favorite pink color because it is very pink, as you can see. It's like a lighter pink than what is actually being shown in the video because it is like not the best quality, I won't even lie. But I absolutely love this color. It's perfect for school. It just gives like a little touch of rose. And if you like use like maybe like a light coral blush and then just like really simple eyes, it definitely is very cute for school. It can also go day to night if you need to do that. Um, I would, if I did the night thing, I would probably just, you know, bump it up a little bit with some shimmery lip gloss or something like that because this is very matte. There's like no shimmer in it whatsoever, um, which is great for school. But if you're wanting to wear it for night, that's not so great. So this was around eight bucks. This was a little more expensive. I suggest that you wear chapstick before you put this on. It does get a little bit tacky and you will have to apply it on a couple times during the day because it does come off. Um, but it's not extremely noticeable, so therefore it's like perfect for school. And if you're not really feeling like wearing lipstick for school, which I totally get, um, another thing that I've bought that was around, ooh, I don't really remember the price, but it wasn't that expensive, was Burt's Bees <clears throat> Tinted Lip Balm, and I bought it in Pink Blossom. And I really, really, really like this lip balm. It's absolutely perfect for my skin color. Oh, I need to get a drink. hydrating. Okay, I'm back. So the pink blossom is really great. Um, the color, it is a tinted lip balm, but it's not so overly pigmented that you look like a clown when you put it on. Plus, it's extremely hydrating for your lips. It works a lot like chapstick, but chapsticks, even though you can buy the cherry chapstick, it doesn't really do anything to add color to your lips. This is perfect. Um, I have been buying this for like two years now. It's kind of, you know, you know, see what color, how am I going to do this? Ugh. See, it's a very pink, um, it's more pink than it looks like in the actual video, uh, but I love this stuff. Definitely, if you're not wanting to put on lipstick for school, which is totally understandable if you don't want to do that, or even if you just want something that you can pop in your bag that's really easy to put on quick, buy Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm in Pink Blossom. It's perfect. So now on to... Uh, nail polishes. I've bought a couple of nail polishes recently. I've never had a huge nail polish collection, but I've started buying more because I've noticed that unpainted nails make me sad. So I needed to start painting my nails, and I needed some inspiration, and I really needed it like now. 
One of my favorite colors to wear on my nails during the fall and especially winter seasons is like a very deep kind of red. My favorite red so far that I've bought is Essie's Forever Yummy. Um, it's very much a, I wore this for 4th of July and it's a very much a candy apple red. You can see here, it's very much a candy apple red. It is an absolutely gorgeous color. I love Essie. I would totally buy them more often if they weren't so expensive for such a little bottle of nail polish. Um, I love this though. It's perfect for fall. It's perfect for winter. I wouldn't wear it during the spring because red's not really a spring, uh, spring color, but I would definitely wear it all the other months of the year and all the other, yeah, so. Essie's Forever Yummy Nail Polish. It's nail lacquer. It's, it's great. Another nail polish that is a little more affordable um, is the Sinful Colors Nirvana. This is just like, it reminds me a lot of OPI's Chocolate Mousse. It's a very matte kind of brown color. It's, it's just brown. It's, there's no shimmer, no anything. And I really like this color um, because it is so matte. It's definitely underplayed. Uh, you can wear it with a lot of things. Brown's definitely a fall color. I wouldn't really wear it in the winter, but it's perfect for school especially. My school's very traditional in the colors that they'll let you wear. Pink, reds, traditional colors, things that aren't so flashy. So this matte brown, I have a feeling I will be wearing a lot during the school year. The bottle was $2, but I got it for $1.50 because it was on sale. Uh, it's a lot more affordable, and I think that there's a lot more actually in the bottle than would come from SE or even OPI, so I would definitely buy this. It's Sinful Colors in Nirvana. And last but not least, probably my favorite nail polish color I've found this year. I was shopping at Forever 21 for fall clothes, which will be a different video. I found this nail polish I absolutely fell in love with and I didn't need to buy. Forever 21 has a nail polish line called Love and Beauty. Um, and this is the color I bought. It's just, they just call it taupe, but it is, I know that it's not really picking up very much on the camera, but it is such a pretty color. It is a, like a, a rosy brown, light brown is the way I would describe it, but it's got gold shimmer in it. And it's really, really, really pretty. I absolutely fell in love with this color. I had to have it. It was $2, $3. It was $3 when I bought it. Um, but it's just such a pretty color and it's perfect for fall and I think you could pull it off during the winter too, especially with the gold. So these are my, this may be my favorite color yet that I've bought this year. So those are the things that I really suggest that you buy this year for your uh, makeup routine during the school year. All the stuff that I have uh, shown you in this video is really easy to put on. It's relatively affordable for drugstore makeup. Um, you can find these at Walgreens or Target or even Walmart. Um, and the colors, especially the nail polish colors, are perfect for fall and they are so, so, so pretty when you put them on. So I hope you find this helpful and I hope you enjoy your first couple of weeks back to school. I hope you get back into the daily grind and we'll see you soon.